Hey, what's up guys? It's Rachel and welcome to my channel. Today I am unboxing my latest Boutique by the Box shipment. So Boutique by the Box, if you're not familiar, is a liquidation company and uh, the last box I got from them was amazing. So I felt like I had to get another one and I'm hoping this one is just as good. If you are new here, welcome. And if you don't know, I am a part-time reseller. So I buy goods to sell on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and I primarily go thrifting at my local thrift stores for my inventory. But lately I have been really liking these liquidation boxes, which the cost of goods ends up being a little bit higher usually, but the, the items are all hand sorted and they are new with tag. And um, so a lot of times it ends up being worth the extra to pay up front because, you know, it's all like, you know, you're getting good stuff. So this one came from Boutique by the Box, which is a company I've really enjoyed uh, thus far. And I'm expecting in here 20 pieces of loungewear. So this box was $119 on the site for 20 pieces. Free shipping, it ended up being about $5.95, let's, we'll say $6 per item. So let's take a look at what's inside. All right. So first item is, uh, the brand is Maroni. I'm not familiar with this brand, but it is new with tags. Um, it looks like a like a high low knit shirt. It's a size medium, but it's obviously very oversized. All right. Second item is a pair of shorts. I hear a tag, but I don't see it. Oh yeah, here it's Maroni again. And they're like little um, striped lounge shorts. These are a size medium as well. This is like a tie dye, it says made in the USA, Maroni again. Oh, it's like a cropped boxy. These are so cute. I wish I could pull off this kind of look, um, but it's like a cropped boxy shirt. Uh, this is a size large. Maybe I'll try to pull that one off. No, probably not. Okay, this is Zella. This is actually almost ordered. They had these entire boxes of these Zella dip dye sweatshirts. So uh, I'm get kind of glad I'm getting one in this box. Um, this is a Zella sweatshirt size medium. I'm going to say this one's new without tags. Nope, it is new with tags. So this is from Nordstrom, originally $69. All right, I see some jogger pants. Oh, just kidding, jogger shorts. These are Free People Movement. These are a size large. And they're like a French terry material, jogger shorts. Super cute. Same thing. Uh, these are free people movement. I can tell by the tag. These are a size medium. These have the original tag on them too. Um, looks like a $68 MSRP. So those are the same as the other ones. They're just gray. This is a t-shirt. This is the brand is LA made, LA made. That's new for me, new brand, but it is new with tag. It's just a basic long sleeve, um, size small. So it's like a lavender or like a muted purple. These are coral, coral with a K. I have never found this brand, but I've heard some good things about it. So this is good. These, wah, wah, I don't see a size tag on these, which I'm not a super big fan of trying to sell things that don't have a size tag, but because these are new with tags, I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, 
hopefully just measurements and disclose will uh, will work for those. I see some good stuff in here, guys. Ooh, these are so soft. These are from Lulu's, not Lululemon, Lulu's. So they're jogger pants, tie-dye. Um, they do say made in USA. They're a size large. I have never bought liquidation Lulu's, but I have picked up Lulu's thrifting. Um, it doesn't resell for a ton, but maybe new with tag, it'll do better. So I guess we'll see. These are Maroni again, this tag. These are a size medium. These are so soft though. These feel like a beach towel. I gotta get this stuff listed ASAP because it is, um, majority of it's kind of summery. Uh, this is LA Made again. These are like leggings, but they're like lounge leggings. Um, size medium. This one is a tie-dye. Oh, so I see. It's got like a, it's got that open back kind of going on. Vintage Havana is the brand. Looking for a size. These are, so, oh, it's a size small. It is made in the USA though, so that's good. People really like items made in the USA and this Vintage Havana, I haven't really picked it up before, but I do know it's a, a lot of times made in the USA. So maybe something to look out for. I'll see how it does new with tag. Here is Chaser, which Chaser can be a good brand. Um, it can be oversaturated too, depending on the piece. This is obviously just a plain um, black t-shirt but it is new with tag. Size medium, no MSRP, but I'll tell you what, I've seen Chaser in some of these little boutiques here around the Atlanta area and it's expensive, full price, so. Uh, this is also Chaser, size medium. It's got a lot of like pilling, but I think, like I don't know if you can see it looks extremely pilled, but it's new with tag, so I think it's supposed to be that way. Where's the... I don't know which way is up. Um, okay, I think it goes like this, guys, because um, this has got to be the back, and then it's got like a real drapey front, maybe? I love shirts like this. Yeah, I think it's supposed to look well-worn, but it's actually new. So this is a size medium. New with tags. Unless that, oh, maybe it's supposed to go like this. <laughs> yeah, I think it's I think it's supposed to go like this. It's got the the open back. I promise I'll figure it out before I take the pictures. This is Zella as well. Oh, so these are the dip dye ones. The dip dye um, joggers. I think the, yeah, so the, the sweatshirt is a size medium as well. So I could probably try to sell this as a set. That's pretty cool. What else? These are Lulu's again, size small, joggers. These are super comfy and I feel like these are never gonna go out of style just because everybody loves a good jogger couple more things you guys oh this is soft this is Lulu's again tie-dye cropped size small but it looks like it's oversized more Lulu's this is a t-shirt size small This is Free People Movement again, and this is a size, I don't know, 
extra small got it yeah they look extra small these are joggers they have like a tie-dye type deal going on and last piece it's vintage Havana again this is a size vintage Havana doesn't like putting their sizes where I can find them easily size medium um, but this has definitely got an oversized fit. How fun. That's it, guys. So that should be 20. Let's count and make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 20 so we have all 20 pieces here again this box was 119 dollars and um it was free shipping 20 pieces it put me around six dollars a piece um if you are interested in getting a boutique by the box box they have a whole good variety of different items to choose from from men's women's they have some kids items on there um I will put the link down below. I have a 20% off your first order. And then I also have a code for $20, no, $50 off a order of $200 or more. So they have boxes ranging from like 10 pieces all the way up to full pallets. So if you're looking for a way to um, source new with tag items, I think this has been a good option for me so far. Um, give it a try, check it out. If you want to see more unboxing videos or um, if you want to see an update on this one, because I will post a what sold 90 days later, just so we can, you know, it's hard to say, is it a good box? Because, yeah, like there's good stuff in there. But um, the true test will be how much of this stuff sells in 90 days? Does the box pay for itself? Is it profitable? So um, definitely subscribe to my channel if you want to see an update on this. If you want to see what sells out of here, drop this video a like. Let me know if you have ever purchased from Boutique by the Box. I'm curious to know if you've ever um, got from them and um, what came in your box and if it ended up being any good. So let me know. Otherwise, I will uh, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.